Hey guys, how's it going? This is Marco, the Closet Sim Racer. Uh, today we are racing around Donington Park at the Grey Wolf A to Z League. This is round four. I will be racing with the Nissan GTR. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to start off with the outlap, the warm-up lap before qualifying today. And this was a bit of a rough qualifying because it took three attempts, and I'll, I'll show you. We'll skip ahead, and the yeah, we'll we'll see. What it's like at the beginning. So, right now, um, yeah, just warm up the tires, gain the car in a good window. Uh, right now, my f tire pressures are 26 and a half, and the goal is to get it anywhere from 27.3 to 27.9 psi. So that's my goal. Yeah. Normally it takes about a couple laps, so I'm not too worried. I made a small adjustment to my ABR. Oh yeah, that's a roller. Okay. Yeah, and actually differential too. So at the end of this lap, we are gonna skip ahead to my first attempt on where I invalidated it. So I had to go back out again. Concern that I have is okay. We're gonna skip ahead right about now. So, going to the chicane and cut in a bit too fast on the second part. So, second attempt right behind this Ferrari, and he breaks way earlier than I thought he would. So, I had to, I had to back out, get out of it. So, this is all in a row. This is my third lap in a row. And what do I do? I cut the first part of the chicane. Now this is my official lap. So let's run through it. This is my fastest lap of the session. Okay, we're going to be braking right after that green part. Turning in at third gear, hitting the apex, sliding all the way out to the outside, using all the track. This is all full throttle through here, keeping it tight to the right, then turning in the left here, breaking right around that meter board, that one board. This is a fast right-hander. Okay, this is full throttle through this left-hander, just kissing the curb. Okay, turning in, getting the car nice and straight, breaking right at the one, down to third. And using all the track, don't go too wide on the green because it's a bit slippery. Breaking right at, the, right at the crest of this hill, using as much track as I can. This one's really hard to get right because it, you just get so much oversteer on the exit. Okay, breaking shortly after the one, clipping the inside, clipping the inside, and a bit, bit off on my chicane, but good enough. Breaking right after the one, turning in, going down to second for this hairpin, getting in the throttle as early as you can. Okay, breaking off to the right at the middle of the curb, down to second again for this left hand hairpin, and trying to get on the throttle as early as you can, straightening out the car for the best amount of traction, and that's a lap. A 128.2. So, just to get an idea, I was getting 27 eighths, I think, in practice. I'm nervous. I'm super So, yeah. Close, but not close enough. Now, time to get ready for the race. As you can see, tires are quite cold at the moment. They're blue. Same with my brakes. 
So I'm holding onto the gas and the brake at the same time to put some heat in the brake so I can brake into turn one a bit better. Against AI, it did. Okay, getting it close to 70 as you possibly can, waiting for the green lights, and green lights, away we go. Okay, spotting my breaking point nicely, keeping it clean, staying alive, giving the guy off to the left a little space, nudge him a little bit. Okay, just, just staying off and Boom. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I made it, but you did not. So. That sucks. Yeah. That was little, little bit of a rough start. Not much I could have done there. I, at least I don't think I could have. But um, you'll see that we we didn't lose that much time to Damn the pack. Where the guy and that so slow. like these guys are already going off, so I'm already ahead of a couple. So it's still, still salvageable, still good. Okay, I, I, I don't think I got that much damage. So I think I'm good. Good. And remember, oh, it's 90 minutes, so broke way energy. earlier and didn't turn in that fast. Dude, why was, why did he break so early? Almost went into the back of him. That yeah, was almost bad. I, need, I had to be so careful. We were going so slow. Okay. Evans just gave us room, so we took the spot. Time to go after Jones again. The Bentley. If I'm smart, I just let this McLaren go. He's so much faster than me. That's actually smart. You aren't faster than the guy, you. You'll probably make a mistake with him behind you. There's no breaking markers in turn three, first chicane. So I love that right-hander. It's so nice when you get it right. When you just clip the apex, you. It rotates the car for you, and you can just full throttle it right before you get to the apex. Missing the apex there. Okay, now we get, now it's our time to get Jones. We're right back at the chicane, hoping this time he doesn't break too early. Yeah, I will. I'm trying. Yeah, just go, 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 go. He did break a little earlier than I would have, but all good. I kind of anticipated it. Trying to open up the line so I get a better exit. I do, but I only had grass left. Pushing it down the inside. You have no grip on the outside of this corner, so nice, clean easy overtake now on to hunter yeah, yeah, there was hunter was the guy that i almost crashed into during qualifying on my second run no as i just said in the video maybe i'm just being slow then missing the apex slightly but getting a better run Okay, trying to get it onto the left side on the inside here, so I get the best line for the braking for this right-hander. And yeah, done. Nice and easy. Okay, now we got a uh, we have a guy in eleventh, four seconds up the road. Oh, little moment, little moment of oversteer. Now we got to play defense, but it looks like he backed off of it because he let. It, he lost a little speed, so I think he backed off. Not really wanting to overtake in the chicane, which you can't. Okay, first track limit warning. You get 
three warnings, and then on the fourth offense, you get, I believe, a drive through penalty. Or it's a stop go 30 seconds. I forget which one. Either or, it sucks. It ruins your race. Okay, on lap three of the race. Three seconds behind 11th. Sorry, my screen's really small and I actually can't read his name, so I don't know what it is. Fast right hander. Okay, we are gonna skip ahead a lap to lap four. And yeah. My steam hub doesn't show me how much gas of fuel do I have, so I have no idea. This is where we Made a little mistake into turn four here, this fast right hander. And lost it. Understeered a little bit, touched the grass on the outside, and it just spun me. And as you can see here, I was struggling getting going. I didn't realize the car stalled. So I was just trying to go, not understanding why it wouldn't move. And it's because it was not running. Smart moment. <laughs> My brand Hatchy was really good. He's in the right? Yeah. yeah. No, okay, awesome now man. I am back Actually, in last. So, him, uh, we're gonna skip ahead he to the next lap. And we catch up to Bergen, Bergren here. And get another overtake done. Down on the inside, same move as the one on Hunter. Done, easy. Not much they can do about that one. Okay, now we are gonna skip ahead to the end of this lap. We caught Evans and Or no, we didn't catch Evans. We are going to overtake him because Evans has a little little moment here on turn one. And you can see him off to the right. So free position. Okay, we are gonna skip ahead to the beginning of lap nine. I fucking shoot. Oh, you're way up there. You're alone. Okay. Scary right hander. <laughs> Fun, scary. I need to pull down my and now. losing oh, pressure on the left no. rear, which I, I now know I didn't 100% know during the race, but I now know now that it means I had a slight puncture. You can hear me questioning it right now and no. not sure what it means, but that's what it means. I think. Because that... I, I think that's why you lose pressure. So. It, this chicane right here Might be, yeah. gave me trouble like during the race with this me. pressure loss. So we're going to skip ahead one lap to this chicane. And this is what I was experiencing. I could fly over that curb in practice and no issue. So because of the pressure loss, I looked into it and the pit window is about to open at the end of this lap. Yeah, pit window opened. Okay. And so for this lap, this is my in lap. We 
we could fit enough fuel. Because we, I have to fuel up and do tire change. Well, I don't. I, I had to because I couldn't fit enough. And right there, it said 129 liters would be full or into my tank, and a full tank is 135 liters, so I could fit it. So we are just gonna do this in lap, trying to get it as clean as possible with these. This slight puncture on my left rear. Giving me a little bit of oversteer on the exit. Well, my, my right front is the only one that's in the right window. And I'm just, I'm struggling with pressures. So with I, with your pressures too I low, you just have no grip. You understeer, and then you have a little oversteer moments on exits. It's just all about managing, trying to keep the car alive. Missing the apex there. Losing a bit of time. So front left. I'm gonna pump it. One. Front right. Okay, so we are gonna go into the pits. Oh, I had a had a little bit under steer and I moved out of the way because the guy in first was about to lap me. I'm just making sure my pressures are all good. Adding a couple clicks because they're low. Okay. Missing my stopping point. So this is what I was saying last race. If you miss it, it pulls you back and then it lifts you up and then it starts your pit stop. So you lose, I think, Four or five seconds, whatever that was. So it's quite important to get oh, the stop here. right. It it can mean an overcut or an undercut, pretty much. Hey, no, no, front right. <laughs> Let's need it. Okay. I'm getting ready to go. And now it is my outlap. Oh, you're about to lock me. What? Really? I'm all right. To the left. Okay. I honestly thought Sako was going to pass me here. So I was trying to move out of the way. Not realizing he was a bit further back. Another another genius moment. Okay. So this curb right there, that left hander. Meta minor mistake. I think that is the one giving me pressure issues. And the chicane yeah, you need to stay in curb for the you slight right. Faster. I think those two were giving me issues. But not knowing it at the time, I, I hit them constantly. That curb right there. Did you fueled up? Yep. Okay. So now that I finished my pit stop, I have enough fuel and the tires can last till the end of the race. So now just go into the end and a whole hour left. Okay, we are going to skip ahead three laps to lap 18. And this is Sam Holloway. He's the guy in first. He's about to lap me a second time. This guy was rapid, oh, insane guy, right. throughout yeah. this entire race. Oh. Well, I'm not I think his that. pace was in the 27s <laughs> or 6s. Right it, it was nuts.
Oh, let's see. Okay. Okay, I... No, just go. Go, go. I am talking to Sako here. Seeing if he wants to be ahead of me or not. Um, because I have blue flag, so I should be giving up the position. But yeah, oh, little moment there. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm right. I'm and right. yeah, I don't okay, want to ruin his race because I'm already way back. Thank you. <laughs> and he has a little and moment. Immediately, I made a mistake. <laughs> Which <laughs> it happens to me way too much. Where if someone lets me buy over with a blue flag, or yeah, anything like that. I don't know why, but that's that's the moment I decide to make a mistake. And it's always embarrassing. So I'm not going to add any more fuel. That's, I'm going with the 160. And that's it. Yeah. If it ends, it, it ends. Okay. Yep, there's Sam. And he laps me a second time. There it is. That time letting him pass me a lot cleaner than last time. So that makes me that, that makes me feel way better. Okay, we are gonna skip ahead two laps to lap twenty-two. Going back down the hill, going up to turn four, the fun scary corner. And oh big slide almost lost the car kept it alive you freaked me out damn it you're inconsistent today. yeah sako saying i'm inconsistent today and he was very right i was struggling hours, so this day it was not my day not as bad as brands hatch but it was not my day Yeah, th these are unique tracks. Like Brands Hatch, I love it, but I'm so bad at it. Yeah. These are very technical. Well, and there's no runoff. I like that, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it, I get it, I really get it. Now, we are going to skip ahead a little bit. Going back down the hill. Back to turn four. And boom, little moment turning into the apex, and I lost it. Struggling again. So, I honestly think I had the setup way off or something. I also didn't oh, practice oh, much man, for this race, did which I didn't help. I think I got an hour of practice. I just did the fire pressures, yep. but it's getting warmer now. Yeah, never, never adjust them unless you're like a lot before you pit. I did. I did. Oh. <laughs> and that's just unfortunate. I was meant to lap. Okay. Uh, no, Skipping earlier, ahead to lap 27. The guy behind me has a drive through penalty. Starting of lap 27, or 28, my bad. Eleventh ahead of me again. Looks like he had his pit stop completed. You can see the little green bar beside his name. That means he had his pit stop completed. I have a chance for ninth. So I am one eleventh. I can see him. And as you can see, he had a spin at turn four as well. So it's not just me, which makes me feel way better. That's good too. The guy that was in 11th just bumped. So. so, yeah, now I'm 11th. Great. Last to 11th. Yeah, halfway mark. <laughs> so, yeah, I pretty happy. Nine. Last was 16th. Right now it says there's 14, but, but I think two people had a little rage quit. What? Missed my first apex of the chicane. Uh, the last one was 29.7. Or 29.8, basically. Yeah. I'd say that's pretty good pace for with fuel on board and. Yeah, I have over 9 liters of fuel. 
so that's pretty good. No, don't, don't. Ooh, catch it. Okay, we are going to skip ahead again to lap 31. And the guy in sixth just came out of the pits, so I move out of the way. I stay off to the left side of the track, let him have it, and yeah. Gotta give those places up when you're being lapped. It's never fun. I never know where to place the car. And I always, I always want to move out as fast as I can so that, because they're doing way better, I don't want to ruin their race. These hairpins are hard to get right. I feel like I'm always losing time on them. Oh! Second time in a row, I pass someone in the pits. That needs to lap me. And this time it's the guy in first. So I, I that's the second time I would say he lapped me. Because he went back again uh, yeah, to the yeah. pits. He just lapped me. He just lapped me, and he got out of the pits. And the guy in second place is right behind me, and he hasn't hit it yet. Why is he in this league? <laughs> it's just him. Okay, we are going to skip ahead to lap thirty-five. Finish or the end of lap 35, having a little moment there. S at this point, struggling a bit with the tires. Um, you can see my pressures are slightly off, and they're just they're giving me issues. And I, it could be setup related on why they're giving me issues. And I know it's also driving. I was hitting those curbs a bit too hard. So, turn four. Another big moment. Overseer on the exit. So yeah, just not getting a good handle of the car. And I'm losing pressure on the right side this time around. Last time it was the left side. Now it's the right side. And there's no more pit stops left in the race, so... I gotta just keep it alive for the last 30 minutes because I'll yeah, lose too much time in the pits. The right what? Yeah. It is a slight puncture, but it won't drop down too much. Why am I having pressure issues? And you can hear me wondering why pressure is being such, like, so problematic for me. Massive understeer. Tire pressures on the rear left are also looking bad. Okay. And the front right aren't looking good either. What's going on? The only good one is the front left. I don't know. Another There's moment at turn four. Doesn't give me room. Just can't get on top of the car. Okay. 
7th and 8th going to lap me, so I move off to the side. My pace is way off. I just had to move over. So I'm in 11th, and I just got lapped by 7th and 8th. So these guys are way faster at this point. Okay, we are going to skip ahead to lap 42. Not much is happening, just just lapping. So skipping ahead a little bit. They're really good in practice right before the race too. That's weird. And yeah. turn four again. Another moment. And it's the exits that are getting me. Which trip. means the rears are the issue. Like, yeah. I never did that because that's where you need it. When you get on the throttle, it's it's just all shaky. It's not happy with me. That's weird. I got some pace now. That's awesome. I'm taking the chicane nice and slow just so I don't lose it. Okay, skipping ahead a little bit to lap 46. Having another moment into turn one this time. And it's the rear, so my rear has no grip. Like, look at the pressures, they're super low. Back to turn four. Making it stick this time. Way, I'm gonna miss the next race. I'm on but now we're losing pressure in the left rear. So now yeah, we have two forward. punctures in both tires on the rears. So. Yeah, now it's all, all about staying alive. There's only 17 well, minutes that. left in this race. The next track I feel is and I've yeah. I've got 11th if I can keep the it alive. I, I don't even know where 12th is, ahead. but they're way back there. So if I can keep it on the track, 11th is mine. But I can, I ne and those are points. Next afternoon voting. Like what? I'm not too sure at this point of the race where I am. If you well, see the red, that means am. If no, you see white, uh, that means I'm pro. And, and I'm in the am category. Oh, well, I, so the top 10 finishers in AM right. get points just like in F1, and the top 10 finishers in Pro get points just like in F1. So I'm not quite sure where I am, because I'm not 11th in the AM race. So yeah, we're going to skip ahead a couple laps to lap 55. Okay, what this Porsche is doing? As you can see here, my rears are struggling. This has been been my reality for the past little bit. Right at the end of the race, there's two and a half minutes left to go. Still 12th, nowhere in sight, and we're still 11. Oh, 12th is up ahead of us, so we, we got to have a big moment for him to catch up to us. So we 11th is in the bag. Yeah, pressure loss in the right rear again. So engineer is now bugging me. Yeah, see, that, that's the curve I'm talking about. I'm, I'm cutting it too much. And I think that's giving me punctures. Yeah, you can hear me. I am like, there is something seriously wrong. Yeah, losing it again here. Made it again through the chicane. Okay, we have fifth behind us, one and a half seconds. Sorry, Ted. Um, um, I so he'll sorry. he'll probably lap me sorry. soon. The last lap is coming, right? Uh, well, we have a minute and a half, so either a lap or two left. Or yeah, like losing it again. Like Same as last lap. So yeah, just can't keep it in check. Again, another moment going into turn one. 
There's no rear end grip. Okay, blue flag, I move over because I know it's almost a guarantee that I'm going to slide in this corner. Which, look at this. Just, it's, it's, it feels so lazy, it's just not gripping. You, you give it gas and it's just not going. Okay, 15 seconds. Leader on the final lap, so that means I have one lap to go. That's going to be that one lap. I'm making some huge mistake. Wait, it shows me final lap already. Okay, I can't remember if I cross the line now and it's a final lap, or if I have to do one more because of the leader. Going wide, I'm struggling with the rears. Okay, let's see. No, nope, one more lap. I have to do one more lap. I'm 11th. You can see 12th ahead of me. I'm good. I find out after the race, and I believe Barry Evans in 12th was also having pressure issues, so I wasn't the only one. It could be track related, but I think it's because of me hitting certain curbs, like this one and the right sh like the right part of the chicane. Well, losing it, lost to under braking. Yeah, the right front too now, so three tires, three, have punctures. Three tires have punctures. So now, now I don't even care if it looks pretty. Yeah, it's slowing way down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, missed the apex, bouncing all over. Last two corners, and we crossed the line to finish, and we survived. Thank you. Eleventh is know, ours. Wait, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, P9. I'm, I'm, I'm really Yeah, happy. so I got eleventh, which I honestly am quite happy with, considering the struggles and the issues I had. Other it, guys are so much faster than me, so it was like, a real struggle. Class, so, let's look at our times here. Okay, oh. if you look, I was in the 29s to 30s uh, every once in a while, 31 to 32. And the last I couple laps, two years, every day. 32, okay, wait, oh, yeah. 35, 31, 32, 32, 34, yeah. 39. So, yeah, oh, struggling with pace at the end. But yeah. Okay, so next race is at Hungaro Ring. Um, looking forward to that one. That's I like that track a lot. It's a lot of fun. And yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe. Please like. And until next time. Bye.